James Stavridis, an old senior leader in the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, compared the last Hamas attack in Israel with 911 level activity. According to the population, he sees the situation as a major intelligence failure. On Saturday, Palestinian militant group Hamas launched a surprise attack against Israel and armed men, infiltrated country's border and tested dozens of rockets against him. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said that country was in war with Hamas. He said, we're in the war, not an operation. It's not a climb, a war. Stavridis, between 20 million 2013, a former United States Navy, who served as a high Allied commander for NATO European operations, was admiral and had comprehensive interactions with Israeli officials during this time. On Saturday, he took part in the MSNBC's The Katie Fang Show to discuss developing situation in Israel. Israeli troops are taking positions in the middle of the last attack of Hamas. First of all, an intelligence failure. I was shocked to see Israelis. One of the wildest intelligence services in world I was shocked. When he was commander of the US European Command, Israel was a part of my responsibility. Military military. So I know Israel extremely well. This really reminds the Yom Kippur War 50 years ago. Almost exactly. Again. Again the Israelis were shocked by this war. So. The first point. Intelligence failure should separate it very seriously. He should also ask where was the United States about it? I think you will soon hear more on both fronts. Stavridis also made a comparison with the 911 terrorist attacks in New York 22 years ago. And this last attack of Hamas in Israel can be scaled when population differences are taken into account. Israel currently has a population, roughly, less than 10 million people. In 2001, when 911 attacks demanded more than 3,000 lives, the U.S. population was around 285 million. As Americans, somehow, people killed or 40 people killed. Stavridis said, I would invite audience realize that there are only 7 million Jews in province of Israel. So when 20 Israelis killed or hostages caught, according to population according a population, this is like 1,000 Americans, if we enter Israel, we are really looking at a 911 level event. And I think this number will be far above 60. In response the attack. U.S. Defense Minister Lloyd Austin supported Israel to have what he needs defend himself. In the coming days, the Ministry of Defense will work to ensure that Israel needs to defend itself and protect civilians from random violence and terrorism.